This video shows how to install and use a 7 billion parameter large language model by Xiaomi. This model MIMO 7 billion is reinforcement learning in a style. If you are looking to see how exactly reinforcement learning performs when it is done right in pre-training and post-training then watch on. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This model is trained from scratch on a massive data set comprising approximately 25 trillion tokens collected from diverse sources like web content, academic papers, books, programming code and high quality synthetic data. The development approach is something to behold and I will be talking more about it but first let's show you how exactly to get it installed. The tool which I am going to use in order to install it is VLLM. I already have done a very easy to follow tutorial as how to get it installed and uh, search the model with the help of it as you can see here. So just go to my channel and then search with VLLM and you should be able to find this video. So I am assuming that you already have followed this video and have installed this VLLM. But there is one difference. Instead of just going to the actual GitHub repo of VLLM, you need to go to this repo of VLLM which is primarily a forked version of VLLM by Xiaomi. So instead of using the link to actual VLLM, you need to just go to the video's description and get this link which I will paste and then git clone it from there as shown in this video. And if you get stuck, just watch this video, you should be able to install VLLM quite easily. Once you have launched VLLM, this video will also show you how to launch the GUI with open web UI or text generation web UI. I am using this text generation web UI where I already have loaded this model which is MIMO 7 billion RL. I am very grateful to Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM which is Ubuntu and my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM for this video and you can see that this MIMO model occupies over 15 gig of VRAM. Now once you have your GPU and VM and you have your model installed with VLLM we are good to go and check this model out. Now if you are wondering still about the command which you need to use in order to get this installed let me um, quickly share the command with you through which you can simply go and then install this uh, MIMO VLLM. Let me paste it here for you but you can also find it in the video's description. So this is the command which you need to use and that's about it. Okay let's go here. Uh, to text generation web UI where my model is already loaded as you can see. Let's click on chat and we will start chatting with this model. So I'm just going to start with hi there. Model is thinking. Let me click on thinking and you see that it is uh, very very grounded and the thinking or chain of thought is quite I would say uh, fancy when it comes to this model. The reason being that architecturally MIMO 7 billion is built on a decoder only transformer backbone that features group query attention, pre-layer RMS norm, swiglu activation and rotary positional embedding and the whole inspiration is drawn from Quen and DeepSeek R1 model. One notable addition here is a multi-token prediction module or MTP module which enables strategic pre-planning and speculative decoding that significantly accelerate inference in long form reasoning output and on your screen at the moment you are watching long form output. So the crux of the matter here is that if you have simple hello type question or very very quick chat of where you just want the answer back, this is not the model for you. But you, if you have complex reasoning problems to solve, whether it is logic, math or huge repos with coding, this is your model where you can check it out. And all of the performance of long form, they have shared some of the benchmarks on Super GPQA, Live Code Bench and BPH. And this model has even beaten the leading model like DeepSeq R1 and also OpenAI's GPT-01 on few of those benchmarks which is quite interesting but you see hi there it is just 
uh, you know, peeling the skin from the hair and it is calculating all the numeric and everything. So I'm just going to stop it because uh, the model is just going too much. Let me now ask it a real logic question and I will just show you how it goes. Okay, so the question which I'm going to ask this model is this. If you look at this question, this problem requires the model to recognize that this is a non-homogeneous non second order linear differential equation and the, it has to be solved the general solution both complementary and particular and model also has to apply some initial conditions to determine unique constants. So I'm expecting that the model is going to take a long time to resolve this maybe you know 30 to 40 minutes uh, but so I'm not going to wait that much but let's just look at how exactly it is approaching this reasoning process where it is um, slicing and dicing the question it is trying to understand it and you see already it is on the non-homogeneous curve which is really good and i didn't really mention but model was able to detect it there you go and that is the reason this is one of the best models for reinforcement learning or chain of thought when it comes to math problems there you go i hope that it doesn't really uh, flush up my whole vram let me quickly check for some reason my system has gone very slow I'll check, just check the VRAM. So it, it has crept up to over 16 gig of VRAM. And it might just go up if it goes on and on and on with this. And if I just quickly go down, you see that it is going with different examples. And you see sinusoidal function. So I have tried this prompt with deep sea carbon. Deep sea carbon took around an hour or so to get the answer for this. So this one, I'm not sure how long this is going to take more than likely the similar sort of time another thing is that when you are building this vllm which uh, the command which i showed you it takes around two hours to get this branch built so you have to be patient while installing and of course using this model now uh, again i would come back to the thing which i was mentioning earlier that this model um has got a very unique development approach because it emphasizes not just post-training reinforcement learning but also the pre-training phase using a multi-stage data mixer strategy and multiple token prediction objective to maximize the density and effectiveness of reason reasoning patterns in the data and that is shown in real time as you can see its inner working uh, also the model family includes base supervised fine-tuned and reinforcement learning optimized checkpoints and you are looking at um, reinforcement optimized checkpoint which is the best one in my opinion oh wow it was even quick and it has given me the answer that is good that while we were talking it was able to do so in real time and i can already tell you it's in the right direction i'm matching it with the deep seek ones r one's answer this one is not only correct like that one but it has done way less reasoning this is sublime really really good okay let's ask it a coding question too okay so for the coding one it's again a bit slightly not slightly but quite a hard question because it requires efficient enumeration of all subsets uh, correct calculation of gcd over subsets and then handling large results and performance constraints so as always, I'm very interested in the way it approaches it and you can see that it already is progressing wonderfully well. Because not only um, this is an advanced algorithmic challenge suitable for probing high level code reasoning and it needs some optimized skills, which I think this model is showing quite well. So I will let, uh, let it run for a couple of minutes and I know that it, it takes a bit of a time to just let it run and show you but I think that from the learning perspective and just to uh, understand how exactly model is approaching is quite crucial in, if you are interested in learning reinforcement learning and then how exactly uh, these subtle differences in pre-training and post-training make the difference between optimized ones and non-optimized ones. So real good stuff by Xiaomi. This is amazing. You see it is just going through different subsets and different combinations. Okay, so I will let it run for a couple of minutes and then we will see. 
okay so it has taken it around 25 minutes to produce all of this thinking and then it is telling us the final approach and look at the approach that this involves these steps and all the key steps are there and this is a solution code which i have checked and it is absolutely correct and then there is an explanation it is still typing the explanation by the way but look i think uh, this is one of the best reinforcement learning model i have seen in the last couple of weeks and things have really come a long way since deep sea carbon let me know your thoughts what do you think about this model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you very much